Hey there, you deserve it. Set up for success, Sharon Horn Elstrom. Our lesson today is about you deserve. You deserve, now it's, you might be thinking when I say, oh, you deserve it, that you deserve something bad to happen to you or you deserve something good to happen to you. What I want to talk about today, one of the biggest lessons I've learned is that you deserve whatever it is that you want. It is different for each and every one of us, but whatever it is, if you can imagine it, if you think about it, if you have a desire for it, you absolutely positively deserve to have that. Everything we want in a positive way that doesn't negatively impact or hurt other people, we deserve to have. We deserve to acquire. We deserve to have be a part of our life and our life experience. If, and it's, it's kind of a big if, we're willing to put in the effort, the action, the work to bring that and make that be a part of our life. Sometimes it's not actually work, especially if it's something we love to do and are really um, drawn to. It doesn't really feel like work. Things we love to do don't feel like work. Things that are for us don't feel like work. Things that make us feel good, things that make us feel light, happy, positive, uh, and any positive emotion, those things are for for uh, those things are actually for us. They're they're supposed to be a part of our life, and so uh, working toward them. Work is a four letter word to so many people, but taking action to move toward those things feels good so it doesn't really feel like work on the other hand things that aren't for us things that we think we want that everybody else wants that actually make us feel bad like I always thought I wanted a a huge manufacturing business a multi-billion dollar manufacturing business but as I moved toward that I got overwhelmed and frustrated and I felt worse and worse and worse and so at some point I realized I feel like I should I felt like I should have wanted that because other people, that was their dream and their desire and their want. And I realized I wanted my own manufacturing business, but I didn't want a giant billion dollar business that had, you know, 80,000 employees. That's not what I wanted. And as I moved and I, I grew my business, I, I got less and less happy, more and more frustrated. And I realized that I was pursuing something that was no, wasn't even my dream. It wasn't even something that I wanted. It was somebody else's and what I thought I should want. And whenever we're going for something that we think we should desire or should want, but we actually don't, it feels off. It feels bad. It feels uh, like not good for us, not right for us. And so uh, we deserve everything we really want. We really actually want, not what other people tell us that we should want or that we think we should want because other people want that and have achieved that thing as well. So how do you know if you're going down the right road? It's always based on how something makes you feel. If it feels good for you, you're going down the right road. If it feels bad, you're going down the wrong road. And this applies to any area and any aspect of our life. I think we've talked about, I call them the seven keys and the seven key areas of our life. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, and contribution. And in any area and aspect of our life, we deserve whatever it is we want in and for that area of our life. If we can imagine it, if we can envision it, if we can even have a dream about it and it feels right and good for us, then, then we should have that in our life. And we can go about bringing that into our lives by the actions we take, by the decisions we make, by the choices that we pursue. Uh, as long as, again, it's it's win-win. We don't want to do something, and maybe for you that feels good, but it definitely doesn't for me, that would in any way, shape, or form harm another person or harm other people to get what we want. I think the only reason any of us ever believe that that has to happen is because we've been inundated with lack and scarcity and that there's only one pie and there's only so much to go around. And if you don't get your little piece of the pie, then you're just going to lose out. And that is absolutely positively baloney. That's not true. That's something that mostly marketers and, and people that have set up the rules for themselves to, to make themselves feel better than other people have created these systems and these processes and these awards and these ceremonies and these procedures and these um, games, because it's all a game, to make themselves feel better and be the winner and have other people be the losers. And, and it's, it's not true. I mean, there's so much in life. There's enough for each and every one of us to have, do, and be whatever we want. We live in this incredibly abundant world and universe and to believe that there isn't enough for you and it isn't enough for me is just ridiculous. And the more open we are to the possibility of there being 
abundance and enough for everybody the more we start to see it the more we start to notice that yeah maybe maybe we can't all be number one in a particular contest or competition or or beauty thing or award um, type thing but that award that beauty competition that competition of any way shape or form that's all made up anyway and is it made up to make us all feel better well maybe it's made up to degrade us and judge us and compare us to other people but the only person we really ever need to compare ourselves to is ourselves. Are we getting better and moving by better, moving toward what we want, what works for us, what we desire every day? If we are great, if we're not anything else, it, it, it doesn't really matter in the overall big picture scheme of things and whether we're going to lead a happy, fulfilled life or not. That's entirely up to us. So again, today, it's a big lesson learned. You and I too deserve absolutely whatever we want and are willing to move toward and work toward to have that be a part of our life. Like I said, if you can imagine, if you can envision it, if you can dream about it, you can bring that into your life, no matter what it is. Uh, love to have a discussion about this. Love to know your comments and your experience with this. Um, anything I've ever thought that I couldn't have something, it boiled down to me thinking at some level that I didn't deserve it or I wasn't good enough or what made me think I should have that when everybody else didn't have it. Well, everybody else didn't even want it, right? Everybody doesn't want the same thing. That's what makes the world awesome and wonderful. It makes it possible for all of us to be, do, and have whatever we want because all of us are driven by different things. We're all wanting different things. Although, you know, we want some of the same things and we have things in common because we're all human beings. I mean, we want to be safe. We want to have a place to live. We want to be warm, dry, and protected. We want to have, you know, enough resources to make sure that we're not going to starve. But beyond that, how we self-actualize, how we decide what works for us, what makes us feel good, what's important to us is different for all of us. So go out and have an absolutely amazing day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting life lesson learned as we go through setting up for success. What are some of the biggest lessons I've learned over the last 60 years that um, continue to serve me? You know, some of the things that this is a, this was a hard fought thing to learn. I didn't for a lot of years think that I deserved and I, I thought I just had to do what everybody else was doing to have a happy life and be successful. And when I did all those things and realized I wasn't happy and that although I might have seemed successful to other people on the outside, on the inside I was shriveling up and dying because I wasn't going after the things that I really wanted. And at some level it was because I didn't think I deserved those things. I didn't think I was good enough. And I needed to work through that to, to realize that we all absolutely positively deserve to be the best version of ourselves, to have the things and do the things and be the person that we want to be. And that's it. That's our setup for success for today. Have an absolutely amazing day. Working toward the next 30 day Get Up and Go Challenge, October 1st through 31st. Invite you to join us right here on the Get Up and Go Challenge page for knowing what to do, always knowing what to do, guaranteeing that you have better results after any change that you experienced than before that change. All right, have a great day.